Let's look at a page that I've created in the portal. This page is showing my company information to the user. So this is the account that Maynard Lafferty works for. So we can see some information and then if we scroll down, this is helpful because I can see all of the contacts that are set up at that account um, and I can see some information about them. So I can see their full name, email address, business phone, job title and also if they've been login enabled. So what this is pulling from is a form within um, CRM. So I'm going to go to the account entity and here's my form. So if I go ahead and open it, if you think about a form that you might edit, um, you are going to put your fields on it, you're going to have subgrades, all of that kind of stuff. You can obviously change the display name for a field so that when it's showing to the user, they see instead of um, full name, maybe it's just name or instead of um, business phone, maybe it's just phone. And that's fine. So we can have that information. But if you think about when you've got a subgrid, so if I go ahead and drill down into the subgrid and then I click on edit for that specific subgrid, what we're doing here is we're pulling the fields onto the subgrid. So we don't have a way to change what those field names are unless we were to actually go to the field itself and change what the display name is. But we don't want to do that for all of our users. We just want it to be so that the um, customer might see something different in terms of these names across the top of that grid. So if I close back out of all of this, let me just change this back again. Be careful if you haven't seen this already before, sometimes when you're um, making changes to a subgrid, it will uh, default back to, um, to another view. So just be careful about that. So we'll go ahead and close this. And we'll go into um, 365 and we'll go ahead and we'll look at that specific entity form and that's for the my company entity form and that's what's being used to display this on the page. So it's an entity form that's being displayed on a page. Our entity form, as, as we've just looked at, it has some fields along the top and then it's got a subgrid that's being shown below. So when we create that entity form, we basically say, well, what's the name of the entity? that we're wanting to display information for. So we've got the account and then which form. So we've got the account details dash web. And then if there's a specific tab, which in this case, I'm just showing the summary tab, you pick that. If there's no specific tab, you can leave that um, empty. So in this instance, I want it to be read only. And I want to associate this form with the current portal user. And then the relationship to the current portal user is basically in the count, the, the, sorry, excuse me, the contacts that are linked to that specific account. So that's great. Um, and this is essentially how this is being displayed. But like I said, I don't necessarily want to have these columns looking like this. Login enabled doesn't look so good. So maybe I want it to say um, portal access, yes or no, something like that. So if I go back to the entity form, and we can see here we have uh, one of these sections called Entity Form Metadata. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to click to add a new, um, a new metadata, a new um, way in which to make changes to that specific entity form. So you can see there I've got a type. So I'm going to click on the drop down list and I'm going to go to subgrid. Now, depending on your um, your web form that you've created, and so therefore you might have several subgrids on there, you're going to then be picking from a list of subgrids. So my subgrid is the contact subgrid. That's what I want to be looking at. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. And we can see now we have an option here that says override column attributes. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then I have the option to add a column. Now I have five columns, so I'm just going to go ahead and click it five times. And then the columns that I have is I've got the full name, I have the email address, I have the phone number, I have the job title, and I have the login enabled. So I've picked those five fields, and those will be the, the ones that you've got on that will be the ones that are available. Now I can say, all right, well, what do I want to have the display name be instead of what the actual field name is, the display for that field? So instead of full name, I'm going to put contact name. Instead of email, eh, that's fine. We'll just go ahead and put email in and keep it the same. Um, business phone, I'm just going to put phone. 
job title, I'm just going to put title and login enabled, I'm going to do portal access instead. Now here's where I can go ahead and put the width. So I actually want to have these displayed evenly across. So I'm going to go ahead and do 20% for each of those. Now I have seen um, varying um, results in terms of being able to do pixels or percentage. Um, so we'll go ahead with this and then you can see what it will look like. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. So I've put in all my information. I'll go back to my page and hopefully I won't have to restart the portal. I've again seen it uh, take effect immediately and sometimes it does not. Perfect, there we go. Just had to be a little patient. So now you can see that where we've overridden the column name, we can now see contact name, email, phone, title, and portal access. And we can see that the columns are identical um, sizes in length or they're, they're equally dispersed across that, port, that grid that we're looking at. So that's it. That's a really simple way to start using the 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 entity form metadata so that you can actually make changes to how that entity form is being displayed. And this is specifically for those subgrids. So again, remember, if you've got any subgrids, you want to be able to make changes to the column width or what the actual display name is going to be at the top, then that's going to be the, the easy way to do that.